Hi, right, it's Bill the Handyman. Today we're looking at a Kenmore no spin action. So we have no spin on the agitator or on the barrel. And so if we look at this lid switch, you see that the lid switch is shot basically. Uh, maybe disconnected actually so if it's disconnected it should come on when we turn it on here so it is disconnected we don't have any spin so most likely it's going to be the drive coupler so this is your typical drive coupler here probably going to be what we need to do. Put one of those on. Okay, so this one I'm going to take apart. These fenders come off. And then there's some Phillips screws on each side. The fenders just basically pull off. They just pop off. Little tangs in there and grab it. Pop off. And you can see that this lid switch has already been bypassed. So we don't have to worry about the lid switch action here on this one because it's been bypassed. Good agitator. So basically we're going to take the front cowl off. There's a little disclaimer for you. Tilted a bit. And loosen the water pump. Sometimes you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it on this one. Okay, so we got the motor clips off. These are the motor clips that just clip. Sometimes they have a screw that holds them on in the front here. That screw is removed. Take a look at the drive coupler. It looks good on the motor. So this is this is the drive coupler here, and you can see this side is still intact. It, this spline is still there. And this is actually looped on too. But basically, the shaft I believe on the transmission has got slop on it, so it's moving in and out as the agitator agitates. And so it's causing us to burn the drive couplers out sooner than later. Okay, so I got a good used one back on there. You can see that the 
drive coupler has to go completely on that so there can't be any gap on this side of the drive coupler and the shaft it's got to go on as far as it can go this one I just sort of tapped on there it's actually flush it's flush with this edge here the edge of the plastic it's all flush there it's flush I actually like to see them stick out a little bit I like to see the shaft stick out just a little bit but since I gooped it in there I put some, some goop on it to hold it in there good old goop to hold it in there and hopefully it won't come loose there may be a little bit of play in that shaft so it's not sticking out the way it should as well but uh, that that drive coupler's tapped on there, so it's got a little force behind it, but it's still not, the shaft isn't coming out. So I'm thinking there's a little slop in that shaft, so it's, it could be one of the problems why it uh, destroys these drive couplers. So on this, this drive coupler here, basically, what had happened was, this isn't the drive coupler, but it's similar to this, basically, the shaft was not completely on, so this, this side you could see still had the spline on it, but the other side was rounded out, so it wasn't seated completely on the shaft, so that makes me think that this shaft has got some slop in it inside, so it's moving in and out slightly as it agitates and so that's what causes that drive coupler to become loose so this transmission's probably got just like excess of wear is going to and is going to continually keep burning these drive couplers out okay we're going to give this one a quick check here see what it does So this one's probably going to be okay.